So let's take this print and turn it into this print. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up, icons? It's the iconic fashion figure. And don't judge me for the way that I look. Life has definitely been kicking my ass, but I've been doing what I can to get up and still show up. So I'm still going to record this video regardless of what I'm looking like right now and how I'm feeling because I made a commitment to recording this journey of starting this men's wholesale clothing line. So that is what I'm going to continue doing. And like I mentioned last week, because we went through like fabrics and the print trends and all that stuff, so this week I wanted to show you guys how you can create your own textile prints. So I won't do too much talk in this video. I'm going to just get into the artwork. I'm also probably I'm also probably going to have in my earpods because I'll be watching a webinar which is actually on the spring summer 2023 trends. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into the prints. So we're going to start with Vecdeezy, but actually wait. So let me hold up for a minute because I'm jumping into just getting into the artwork and avoiding actually talking to you guys but I should probably explain what it is that I am doing. But as far as vector artwork because I know a lot of you may be new to this and you don't even know what vector artwork is. So basically when going into the prints because I'm taking artwork and wanting to recreate it to be my own I want it to be in vector format which is basically like a bunch of lines, dots, curves, all of that stuff that form the artwork that I can then you know use those dots and those lines and alter it to make it my own so it makes it easier to adjust so vector artwork is definitely the way you want to go to get the artwork that you need so there are websites out there like VecDZ that has free vector artwork on there that you can use and a lot of their artwork too um, a lot of their artwork on here I don't know what I was getting ready to say I completely forgot my mind is literally all over the place yeah I don't oh uh, their artwork on here, there's some of them when you click on the attributions and it tells you how to, you know, give them credit for their artwork. It says on there you can use for merch. Normally, most artwork, they'll tell you non-commercial use. So that means you definitely can't just take the artwork off of their website and use it as your own. But on here, they have some where it allows you to use a merch. It just tells you you have to give credit to them. Which means you would have to have this website name literally on your merchandise somewhere. So if you're okay okay with that you can take the artwork as is and you don't even need to watch the rest of this video you can go ahead and use it as is but if you don't want their website on your merchandise and don't want to have to give them credit you'll want to create your own artwork so we're using their artwork as inspiration as our guideline to create the artwork we want to do so that's why I use VecDZ but there's a bunch of other websites that have vector artwork so for example I'm just gonna go in here and type in floral print if that's a print that I want to use and as you can see there's a bunch of different floral prints on this website that you guys can go choose from I like that one I don't think all of them are free because as you can see like these ones don't say free but this does here so today I'm just gonna pick a free one which I've actually already selected it before recording and then we're going to work with that but I'm gonna scroll through so you guys can see and then I'm just gonna go to the one that I chose to edit so that way you guys can see what it is that I'm doing but now I'm putting my earpods back in so my webinar still hasn't started yet it's actually in another few minutes so so I'm still talking to you guys right here, but I do have my music on too. But I'm going to go ahead, because we're now in the Illustrator, the artwork is up. So I'm going to walk you through, you know, what steps to take to alter this. So as you guys can see, I have the artwork in the Illustrator. And the first thing you'll want to do is release the mask. So now you guys can see like all those red lines because there's a bunch of individual pieces now. And this is the vector artwork. You start on the screen with properties, but if you go over to layers, it has the different layers. So you can see like those little dots on here that I actually don't think I really want. You can take that out if you want. This is the mid-ground, which is the actual floral. And then you have the background, which I'm going to be changing that color anyway. But if you want to mess with the mid-ground, which is where most of the changes are going to occur, drop down in the mid-ground menu and then the group. And then you can go to these individual pieces and you see over in this corner, that one is hiding. There's another one. So you guys will see on the screen, like I'm clicking on random ones. 
and they're popping they're going away and then popping back up so this is where I can go in and start editing this so I know for my background I want to change this background color so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add in a new layer and I'm gonna make this the background this one we'll hide that one for right now so what you guys can see that I'm doing right now because it's cut off on the screen I'm adding in a square on a new layer so that way I can add in another color in the background and the reason I'm doing a new layer instead of just changing the background color is because I wanted to hide that original background color just in case I want to go back to it and plus I'm trying to find a good shade that would resemble denim so I'm not sure if I really want to do light denim or medium denim so I figured it was best for me to do new layers so that way I can play around with it and then once I actually change the floral color I can decide which color looks best and then here I go to pick up my phone to actually google the hex code for denim so it can get me on the right track of trying to find the right shade of blue that I'm looking for because I'm just not picking it up right now so I just went ahead and googled a hex code for denim and it'll literally give you the color code that you're looking for so if there's a specific color you're looking for just google the hex code for it so I got rid of the original dark background and added in my own background so it can resemble more of like a denim color versus a dark navy I mean I could have worked with the dark navy but I didn't really want to this foreground I think I want to take away right now and only have the artwork and then now there's these pieces in here that I believe I want to start getting rid of like these right here I don't think I really want them in here I think I'm gonna take that out because I want to pretty much focus on like these florals and kind of expand it and then I'll keep some of this green in the background too although it's going to be a tonal print meaning I need it to match more of the denim color so it looks like a denim all over print so what I'm doing here is just going to hide the layers of those pieces that I don't so want because I don't want to actually delete them right now and then change my mind and actually I need them back. back. So if I hide the layers, at least they're still there if I need to bring them back in. But right now, I think I'm liking it without those pieces in there. I think I got rid of all of those. So now here I am left with the pieces that I really want to work with, although it's still probably going to change a bit. So I'm back to the original artwork just because I want to show you guys this feature in the original artwork before I even change the background I actually did this first and then end up going to change individual pieces so when we were just in layers at the top right corner it says properties click on that and then select all of your artwork and then there will be a button that says recolor and this color wheel that I'm currently playing with right now will pop up and you can literally click those little dots that are on the screen and drag those around you can move them up and down so if you want to get like light and dark on your colors and and then you can even at the bottom you can see me dragging those colors if you want more of that color or less of that color this is one of the ways that you can recolor the print without having to go in and recolor each individual piece so I use that same color wheel method that I just showed you to try to get close to the colors that I want this is still not tonal yet but it got me in the right direction for and then from there I can go in and edit these colors but before I play around with colors anymore I'm gonna go ahead and get the layout that I want for this print so as you can see I'm just copying and pasting the pieces that are already there because I want an all over print so I want this page to be full and I want as little negative space as possible so I'm going to use some of those big florals as well as some of the smaller ones to fill in this space I'll leave the leaves where they are I'm not even going to mess with them I'm just going to pay attention mainly to the flowers because I want this to be focal point on those flowers so I did go back on the color wheel and adjust my colors a little more I like this a little better but now you see those little white dots on there I don't want that on there because this is going to be tonal so I don't want a bunch of white spots on there so if you double click on where those white spots at it'll take you into this page where I can actually go in and now delete those out I could change the color on them too if I really wanted them but I don't want them in there so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those and then I'll come back to the print so now I have all the white gone off of my artwork I went ahead and went off camera although most of it was grouped so it was really quick to go in and delete it but again um, what I did was I pretty much took all the floral pieces that I want and put a bunch of them because I went an all over print I wanted some large ones but then I filled in with some small ones I wanted as little negative space as possible although there is going to be some there which would be the denim fabric now as you can see there's some areas where there's not much depth in the flower for example this one so if I want to go in 
and still change some of the colors aside from the way that I just showed you how you can recolor this artwork you can double click on that and where it shows fill right here I can go ahead and change this color so like if I want to make that like a deeper shade I'll just use the bottom one because that's changing the depth of the shade so then I can go in there and as you can see it added more depth into the flower so now it doesn't look as flat as it did before. There's another one in here too, which I can do the same. Then click it. This one right here. So we can make this one a tad bit darker. I can get the color cold from the other ones or I'm just going to guess. So again, add a little more depth, not as deep as here. But that's okay, I don't need it to because then those aren't as deep as well. So I can go in through here, like in here as well, if I want to make that a little deeper of a color so it pops a little more and it doesn't look as flat. I can go in and do that same up here. So you can go in and play around with this to make it exactly what it is you want. Ignore the fact that it's running off the page once I save it the way I need to save it. It's going to clip off everything that's on the outside of this art work and only what's inside of this black will be my print i'm going into illustrator at the top you'll go to view um trim view so that way i can hide all of that and then i can save this without all that excess so that's my final print that's going to be my all over print on my denim difference between the two prints this is the before the artwork that i took and then this is the after you can see there's some similarities such as the flowers but you can also see it looks completely different too so it doesn't look like i stole their artwork more so like i just use it as inspiration so that's it for this week's video i just wanted to quickly show you guys how to create prints i probably should have gone more in depth i'm just not really focused on this but if you guys need more detail i can do it in next week's video because next week I'll also be showing you guys how to add the prints to your garments so that way you can actually have the mock-ups of what the print will look like before you actually send it off and have this created so we'll do that next week so if you need more detail on creating the print because I know I kind of was all over the place and not really focused not good at giving direction either I will go into more detail but otherwise next week we'll focus on adding these prints into our garments thank you for watching